The importance of a hearty home-cooked meal cannot be overstated. But life has a nasty habit of getting in the way. Luckily, we live in the age of the TV dinner. On just one tray, you get a complete meal. Thanks to the wonders of automation, full meals of remarkable variety move along conveyor belts so each customer receives an exactly fair share. Then they're kept in your freezer, ready for you to quickly heat up. And no TV dinner is better than the classic Saddle Up Salisbury Steak. But what if you want to enjoy it without all that pesky radiation? Fear not. Even after near total atomic annihilation, you can still enjoy this pre-war classic. Recent advancements in food processor technology reveal exactly what we need to get started. All good Salisbury steaks start with Brahmin lightly killed and finely ground by your local butcher. Then just gather some delicious corn, silk bean, and some plastic and you're all set to feed each of these ingredients into the hopper. There, it's as easy as that. What's that? You don't have a food processor? You're morally opposed to paying extra for something that you think should have been in there from the beginning? Well, that's okay. We're here to show you to how to replicate this dish from scratch. You already know that you need two pounds of ground Brahmin meat, eight half ears of corn, two cups of shelled silk bean and plastic wrap. But aspiring historians have recently discovered that to make a truly excellent Salisbury steak, you will also need three cups of beef broth, a half a stick of butter, one cup of potato flakes, one tablespoon tomato paste, a half a cup of port, a quarter cup of flour, two sliced onions, and one cup of milk, as well as two pounds of sliced mushrooms. Whisk the potato flakes and milk together until smooth. Then add the ground meat, a teaspoon of salt, and pepper to taste, then mix until combined. Form the meat mixture into eight evenly sized oval patties. Melt a tablespoon of butter in a large pan over medium heat. Add the meat patties and sear for five minutes. Then flip and sear the other side for another five minutes. Transfer the meat to a plate. Then add the other three tablespoons of butter. Saute those onions until they start to brown, about four minutes. Then add the mushrooms. Cover and cook for five minutes. Then uncover and cook until all the liquid has evaporated. Add the tomato paste and the flour and stir to combine. Cook for two more minutes. Add the port and the broth and bring to a simmer over high heat. Add the meat patties back to the pot. Cover and reduce heat to medium low. Cook for 12 minutes. While the meat simmers, we could boil a pot of water and then cook the corn and the beans, but that sounds dreadfully tedious. Thankfully, God gave us microwaves that man has harnessed in this convenient oven. So, wrap your corn and your silk beans in plastic wrap and microwave each of them for about two minutes. Now that everything is cooked and plated, let's compare the classic to our version. Mmm, beautiful, delicious, and complete. Just like the original. Now it's up to you to try it at home, and soon you'll be eating something special. Brought to you by Joe Spuckies. Nothing is finer than being in their diner.